healthier life. While most of us, though, would uh, run or swim a mile if we spotted a shark, our next guest likes to get real close. Mm. It's produced uh, some amazing pictures and a heap of awards for his underwater films. He's Richard Fitzpatrick, and he's here now. Good morning to you, Richard. Morning, guys. What on earth Ooh. possessed you to want to swim with sharks? I actually had a pet one as a kid. What? And, what, in um, a tank at home or Yeah, something? in a tank at home. Went out and collected it myself from the reef when I was about 12, and so I did marine biology, ended up, Doing underwater camera work. Yeah. Oh, around Rockhampton. Did you? Yeah, yeah old Rock Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of to a little bit of distance to the coast there at Yapoon and whatnot. Did yeah, you get it out there very often? Yeah, we're out at the Keppels quite a lot. Yeah, just yeah. collecting aquarium fish and Beautiful. being teenage boys. There's a group of us, we all you know like to keep the dangerous stuff, stonefish and all that kind of jazz. So. Stonefish. Step on one of those, you know it. Yeah. Oh, I've done that a few times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So have you ever come close to being bitten by a shark? I've got a few bites. I've got one on the back of the leg. Um, been knocked out a few times. Yeah. Uh, probably got the record for most concussions from sharks. Wow. But, Is that um, a record? Yeah. Well, you know. And But the good thing about being an underwater cameraman, you've got a big camera to fend the sharks off, and that's when you get the really good shots is when they're coming up close and munching on the end of the lens. And is that what you used to fend them off when you did get those few bites? And um, yeah. So just, you know, give it a gentle nudge, as it were. And that's all like, it took? Yeah, then they realise, oh, it's you know, big and metal, don't want to deal with it, and they'd go back to whatever they were eating. Wow. Aside from the thrill-seeking side of things, what is the purpose of what you do? Uh, so we're making documentaries about sharks, so like for the BBC, like we just did the recent Attenborough series and stuff like that, and it's just to show the animals in a new light. What people don't understand is that like, when you make a shark doco, most of the time they're just sitting around waiting for mm. action to happen. Mm. And... You know, the tricky part when you're doing this stuff is to know when to stop and get out. Mm. Uh, so being a shark biologist, we, you know, you can read the body language of the animal. And so, you know, the tricky part is to know when to When they bail. start getting aggressive. Yeah. Um, is that when they've got your calf muscle in their mouth? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> or I've got the camera in their lens. But you get some really cool, you know, close-up shots doing that. Shark nets are controversial at the moment. Um, give, us, give us an idea on, on how misunderstood you think these creatures are and whether or not the nets, what comes first. Greatly misunderstood. We really need better science. Um, you know, being from North Queensland, we've got the world's most venomous animal, the box jellyfish, and mm. we have really good science to know when and where they occur. And then mm. we came up with protective, you know, barriers, mesh suits, and you know, the lifeguards do a great job in monitoring what's happening on the beach. So I think we need to apply science to the shark issue because mm. at the end of the day, we can't manage the sharks. We have to manage people. Mm. And it's only through good science that we're going to get to the point where we can come up with protective measures and to tell people when it's a high-risk time and not. All right. Now, you've got your first book coming out in December. Yes, the book's out actually now. So oh, right. you can get it online and a few of the bookstores. So, yeah, so it's all stories about what it's like filming and working with dangerous animals underwater. Fantastic. Terrific. Good Christmas present. Would much yes. rather read about it than do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you see that Blake Lively film that's out at the moment with oh, the big yeah. shark? That's the yeah. biggest shark I've ever seen. That's an amazing film. Oh, yeah. It's a good special effect. I'm never going in the water again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Time now to give, uh, give away some cash, some easy cash.